In my GitHub account, you can find a repository for a project which includes all the sources that we will use and also scripts to enable a Java on the Raspberry Pi. So we go to the Pi Java project and from here you could get the scripts, but it will be easier if you just um, copy the clone link and use that one on the Pi. Now let's start on the Raspberry Pi, which is a clean one and we make a new directory udemy in the home directory we're working in so we see it's empty and now we get the files from the github account so we do a clone this is the link we just copied we get all the files now if we do on this thing we see we have this by java project inside you have all the sources and the thing we are interesting at in this moment are the scripts. And we're going to use the script uh, which is in the pi install directory. And we're going to install the java 11.0.2 version. So it's a free version of Java uh, provided by Bell software. And it's specifically built for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, we have to give the script the executable rights so that we can run it. Now we see that this script is executable. Let's have a look what's inside the file. So what we do is, uh, so we move to the home directory of this user, we get this uh, tar file from the Bell software website, we move it to the op directory, then we go inside the op directory and we untar this file, and then we remove the downloaded file because we don't need it anymore. So now we can start the script, which will do all the steps that we've just seen in the nano file. The first Big step is of course downloading the tar file. And once we have received the complete tar file, the script will continue. And the first step is then moving the downloaded file to the opt directory. And then in the opt directory, the tar file is untart. Again, this takes some time. You see that a lot of different components are included within that JDK. And now we're going to check this download. So it should be in the op directory. Yep, there we have the JDK 11.2 folder, which was created by the tar file. And now we're going to run the Java itself and ask for its version. That's the most or the easiest way to check if Java is running on our board. And indeed we have OpenGDK version 11.02 from Bellsoft, which is generated on the 15th of January, 2019.